In other news tonight, we continue to show you school campuses destroyed and vandalized by the hands of what appears to be teenagers. Reporter Baldo Bessage has more on how pictures like this one over my shoulder is costing you. You can add Antalan Middle School to the list of school break-ins. It looks like about a size nine and a half kicked through this door to get into the office. Tuesday morning, Antalan's office staff found an air conditioner pushed in. Doors pried open. The evidence all points to teens once again, only taking a case of water while looking for money in office desk. The recent spike in school break-ins hurt the schools and the students, but it's also costing you, the taxpayer, every time a window is smashed in. Well, um, we're looking at more than, almost more than thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 of uh, unexpected expense uh, to the department on top of what we have planned to um, to repair school. Facilities and maintenance manager Billy Cruz says his staff has been hard at work at multiple schools fixing problems like this one. How about the students' desks that have been tagged and tossed around? It'll cost a hundred to two hundred dollars each to replace. Teacher's chair? Add on anywhere from two hundred to three hundred dollars. A four-drawer filing cabinet? Three hundred to four hundred dollars. That's been the first thing we've seen smashed in every time we visit a vandalized school. A teacher's desk? Roughly $600. How about all the other things on the wall? Most of them paid for by the teachers themselves. Ukudu teacher Mary Nolte puts into words how many teachers are starting to fill. Her room has been repeatedly vandalized, the last time just this Monday. I um, can't afford to be a teacher anymore. <laughs> it's getting too expensive. Ukudu teacher Mary Nolte puts into words how many teachers are starting to fill. Her room has been repeatedly vandalized, the last time just this Monday. The unexpected cost pushes an already strapped for cash department closer and closer to its final budget in this, the first quarter of the fiscal year. We're hoping that they catch these individuals who are entering the schools and vandalizing the schools and uh, we will hold them accountable for um, whatever damages uh, it was caused to the schools. Until then, taxpayers will be footing the bill. For Guam News Watch, I'm Baldo Besic. Thank you, Baldo. Now